The market report for November, October, November, um, the, we're actually pretty surprised positively with the numbers for October and into November. And looking through 2014, it's made, made me a little more optimistic for what we expect to see in 2014 versus what we were thinking before. We were figuring that sales would be about the same and maybe values up 5 to 6 percent. But based on the activity we're seeing so far, um, the fall numbers have been stronger than we thought, so we're a little bit more optimistic. I'll still remain cautious, but sales probably will be in 2014 a little bit more than this year, and values may be up 8 to 10 percent. Interest rates look like they're going to be stable, and that makes a big difference, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm more optimistic now than I was a month ago. It looks like rates will be stable. And as I've been saying the last few months, we're seeing more inventory hitting the market. And, uh, and that's a good thing. And we think probably in spring, although the probably buyer demand, as it always does, gets released in spring as well. But we think this year there'll be a little closer balance in new listings hitting the market as there is more buyers. So we think next year will be a little bit more of a balanced market. The other thing that uh, we're hoping for is, although we don't think it'll happen so much in 2014 across the state, but an increase in new construction. That's really the thing holding back the last piece of, uh, of the housing recovery is more inventory. There are uh, household formations going on every day. New families are being formed, children are being born, etc. But there just aren't any new inventory being created. So, um, so once that gets started, once banks get comfortable lending to builders, then uh, we'll start to really see some balance and some release of inventory. That will be a positive thing across the board for housing. One of the things that you'll be hearing in the first part of this year, uh, or last part of this year, first part of 2014, are uh, issues about the Dodd-Frank bill and things like QM and QRM. And those terms don't really have to worry too much about, except to beware as you're a buyer specifically. You might find that, uh, that getting mortgages will be a little bit tougher in the first half of next year. Um, you may have to jump through a few extra hoops, uh, even though they've gotten tougher in the last few years. It might get a little extra tough as the new rules are implemented uh, through the Dodd-Frank rules and banks get comfortable with how those rules work and what type of risks they're willing to take. So it should get a might get a little messy, more delayed. Expect a little bit more delays in, uh, potentially in, uh, uh, in mortgages. But uh, from our standpoint, we've, uh, we've tried to jump ahead of that, and we've, uh, through John Adams, we've added staff, we added underwriters, and we think we're ahead of the curve on some of the issues there. And we don't think it'll be as dire as some predict 20% uh, shrinkage, shrinkage in uh, availability of mortgages for home buyers. We don't think it'll be that bad, and we think we're staffed to cover that. Um, but overall, we're looking forward to, a, to a, um, a good finish for the year and an optimistic uh, 2014. And, and one last comment for our organization as a, as a total. We were once again in the top workplaces uh, awards this year for Michigan, and we actually moved up on the list. We were uh, third place this year. So we're very proud of our whole team and what we've accomplished uh, this past year and all the prior years. So congratulations to, uh, to our entire team. and. Uh, and we look forward to a fit, great finish for the year. Thanks.